Hello everyone, it's been a great while since I've done a Linux video review. This is like one of my blind reviews where I just go in and use the operating system. So basically I've installed Garuda Maka Linux or Mocha. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's M-O-K-K-A. -K -K and I'm really excited because, well, Garuda is just by far the most beautiful Linux distribution out there in my opinion. And, and I'm talking about how it's themed. Now it's more of an advanced I would say it's more of an advanced desktop, being that it's based on Arch, but they do make it more user-friendly with scripts and walkthroughs and like wizards from what I remember in the past. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, and uh, today we're going to dive into something gorgeous again, I'm assuming. I did install it and just ran the updater and then logged right out because I didn't want to click on any start menus or, you know, to check. I didn't want to check anything out before doing it live here. Garuda Maka Linux is, or Mocha Linux, and hopefully I pronounce it correctly. If the if the uh, the creator of this, you know, sees my video ever, maybe you can just correct me in the comments. And I'll be showing you the stunning theme, you know, walking you through the user interface. I did read about this on their site and was excited to just give it a shot. So here we are. Let's log in. We're at the login screen right now. And it's this is loaded on a virtual machine, so it's probably going to run better on your hardware. Already, wow, this this highlight like around the windows is just amazing. Like I couldn't theme this way if I ever dreamed and tried my hardest to do it. I just don't have that uh, type of artistic ability. It's just not in me. And the way they theme this operating system is just insanely good. This is crazy good. So if I wanted to not have to design or rice, if you will, an operating system user interface and finding icons, Garuda is the way to go right off the bat. You're going to save time in theming and being able to learn about the operating system itself, even though Arch Linux might be more complex. You can spend more time learning about it because you don't have to theme anything. I mean, look at this. So here we are, booted into Garuda Mocha Linux, and it kind of has like this, uh, it's not as loud as he and heavy on the Neon as the previous versions of, of Garuda, like the dragonized version, if you remember that one, that's one of the ones I re reviewed, and it's very neon heavy, but awesome looking as well. So it's got this premium, more polished feel, and I feel it's one of the most cohesive, inviting designs I've seen on Linux so far. Like, I've never seen an operating system look this good. Okay, I'm going to stop, you know, um, going um, crazy about the design of this. Let's see what it does, right? Um, so let's open up the application menu. Let's see if I click up here. Does that do anything? Um, I'm, see, I'm, you can tell I'm completely... Oh, wow. That animation is awesome, especially even on a virtual machine. So automatically, I have to install this on my desktop. I'm going to have to try it out because this is... If it's running this good in a virtual machine, I am excited to try it out because I read that the kernel is supposed to make this more responsive, and I'm already seeing it even in a virtual machine. So... Let's see. That's the menu up there. At the, up at the top is where you log out because it's the only area I'm familiar with because right after I installed it from the live environment, I went up here at the top right to bring up the login or log out screen where I could restart it. So let's see. We click. Let's see what the center is. There's Dolphin. We got System Monitor. We got Snapper Tools, System Settings, Octopi to add and remove software. We got Console. This is based on the KDE environment. So let's see. Let's pop into Dolphin first. Okay, it's right here. And of course, because it's KDE, look at how the theme just carries through the dark mode with the highlights, and it's just so easy on the eyes. And let's see. Let's navigate some folders. Wow, this is just fast. Wait, is this single click mode? Oh, it is single click mode. I'm not a fan of that, but that's just a setting. And very common for the last 20 years in KDE, I think. It's been, I don't know if it's 20 years, but a long time. It's been at least 15 years, I'd say, where I've, I've had seen the default single click. I don't, I'm not a fan of that, but you can turn that off and I'll do that later. So this is uh, very responsive immediately. Like I said, in a virtual machine, it's just the speed is just incredible. Like even on my fast desktop that has a NVIDIA RTX GPU and all just going through folders still has some kind of like latency that just drives me crazy. It's almost like being on a website for for like, you know, using an app in a web browser. To, to me, like, this is just fast and snappy, local and quick, right? Like, I'm just clicking through these things. It's, it's fast. That's something that, that just irks me if it doesn't have that speed, and this has it. Um, let's pop into... I'm going to keep saying pop into things. One of the standout features is 
of this. Uh, these are my notes here from the website. Is the uh, one of the features of this release is the Garuda Rani R A R A N I. It's the new welcome app, and it's sort it's short for Reliable Assistant for Native Installations. It sounds technical, but it's basically your one stop shop for getting started. So that's what I recommend you check out if you're more of a basic Linux user like myself. And I mean, I, I in my day job, I, I use Microsoft products and Apple products all day long. And using Linux is my treat, right? Uh, when I get a day off, like, uh, you know, I, I'm going to mess with Linux and tinker around with it because I just prefer to go to that. And it just seems like a new area to me all the time. So let's see what this Randy looks like. I'm going to close this window. And here is the Broadwing little in invite. Randy at VMware, you can see I'm running this in a virtual machine. You got maintenance, you got system settings, you got gaming apps, you got boot tools, start page, their website. Um, very, um, I'd say it's a very inviting way to use Arch Linux because for, for users like myself who are not advanced, this is very useful. The update system thing worked right out of the box. It did it for me. It didn't have to click anything. But uh, it's right here to do again if you want to run it. You can always run and get the latest packages in an Arch-based distro because it's a rolling release. You always have the, the latest packages available to you. And it's basically your operating system's never out of date. You can refresh the mirrors. You can clear orphans, clean cache. Very cool. It's all scripted here for you. System settings, you can mess with audio. I don't recommend doing that in Linux right away. Never. <laughs> There's even Linux distributions now, I think, that can run the Windows audio stack. I forget how that works, but I don't know how. I, I don't know, man. I have enough trouble with audio in Windows already and Linux even more so, but we're getting there. It's getting better. Um, let's go. We got gaming apps. You got things that you can install to run games. Arch is known for running games very efficiently. That's pretty much the preferred way to run games on a lean Linux distribution is in Arch because it's just runs efficiently. It's fast and you can play your games really well, like using Steam, the Proton layer. Uh, settings. We got all this stuff. I'm going to click. Let's just skip that. Let's just go click around because I talked about using the start menu and I fell flat on my face because I couldn't find any such thing let's see if we click here it's at the very top left corner what i did at first was i think it's because i'm in a virtual machine this is my own fault is i just didn't see it or the interface was kind of like glitching because you know it's not running on the best case scenario like native hardware uh, so right here we got this little top bar it's kind of like mac os but prettier in the way that it has the bottom bar area like the dock and the top bar it's not as jarring so it still looks like one big screen which i like i like to have one big screen instead of like you know the top area taken up by a title bar but let's see what that title bar looks like when i open an app and let's go open let's see let's try opening gwenview nice it's it's still seamless up here. This is really cool. Like all these rounded edges. This design is absolutely flawless. And I like this little, uh, you know, it's kind of like Mac OS, but better looking in my opinion. And we got system. One thing I like, I'll just, I'll just talk while I'm browsing here and showing you around. One thing that bugs me about like Mac OS, for example, even on the very latest version is on like my MacBook, for example, I have iCloud notes and to export those they just make it hard they never make it easy you they want you to stay in their system like copying the notes one by one into one note I have to do that uh, the markdown doesn't translate well there's just things like that that just annoy me and in Linux there's always an app that will handle it like I could install Obsidian in Linux Windows and Mac and move all that stuff over and I could use iCloud Notes in a browser on the Mac so or on the uh, Linux distribution. So the fact that there's web apps is making Linux even more popular, in my opinion. So we got BTRF Assistant, really fast way to back up your system. Uh, these Arch-based distros are always good at that. They always tend to have, um, you know, the ability to take snapshots of your operating system. We got development, we got graphics, Ocular. I recommend installing GIMP or Krita, one of those things, since you're especially running KDE. Krita would run very nicely, I'd say. Uh, we got Dra Fire Dragon, 
browse the World Wide Web. I recommend using Brave right now. That's my browser of choice for now. I don't think they've done any shady VPN installation activities or anything like that lately. Still seems like the most trustworthy browser, in my opinion, as of all this late news with Firefox doing some crazy term updates. And I don't know. I just haven't been using, using Firefox that much lately. Under system, we got a lot of stuff here. It's like it all just gets thrown under here. But anything you want to do, you can probably do right out of the box. You got an office area. So if you go install LibreOffice, it will show up here. Um, great office suite. And really, that's it. There's nothing super in the way or just annoying about it. It doesn't feel bloated. As you could see, I opened up Dolphin. It was super fast. Let's open up System Monitor to see how fast that launches. It even launches faster than Windows Task Manager on my native computer. <laughs> like, it's, it's just crazy. I only got 8 gigabytes of RAM going for this, which on a virtual machine, I tend to throw more at the virtual machine RAM. This will run on, I think it's 4 gigabytes of RAM. The requirement is 30 gigabytes of storage. Graphics card supporting at least OpenGL 3.3, 64-bit processor, and a USB stick with 4 gigs of storage to install it. Um, very reasonable. Very reasonable. You need it. You need at least 8 gigabytes of RAM nowadays. Just have 8 gigs on your computer. <laughs> you can buy RAM cheap if, if your computer is able to be upgraded. I just totally recommend this. Um, so, all right, that's Garuda Mocha or Maca Linux in a nutshell. I didn't really go in depth on all the apps. I just wanted you to see it. It's beautiful. I think that says a lot right there. You don't have to spend time theming anything. The user interface, great. Uh, whether you're, you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned Arch user, this edition has something special. It's the beauty, the power, the ease of all things rolled into one. It's got all these little scripts where you don't have to worry about being able to update things, but you can spend time learning that, like I'm saying. You don't have to spend time theming and, and, and fidgeting with all your icons. You don't have to mess with that. So grab the ISO at their website. It's Garuda, that's G-A-R-U-D-A, linux.org. I'll link it in the video description. And fill out the comments. I love, I love seeing all these comments. I learn a lot from everybody here. There's always a billion to one more advanced Linux users than myself. So I like learning stuff from you and, you know, trying out the next distribution. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.